This didn't just happen. The city actually made this happen. If it were up to Phil Bevis, stories of heartache and dysfunction would only live on the pages of the books in his Pioneer Square bookstore. Since 1995, when he first opened, he says things had been going well. You know, up until the city uh, came in like Godzilla and stomped all over it fairly recently, this has been a great place to be. Steps away from his front door is Seattle's stalled streetcar construction project. This is a sandcastle. Phil says the streets have been torn up since January, and this month, Mayor Jenny Durkin put the project on hold while the city evaluates costs. What that does is undermines this neighborhood's role as a um, tax generating, job generating tourist destination. Phil says he's been able to make up the loss in retail costs from online sales. Many of the other businesses here either sell immediately consumable products like food, drink, right? And they, there's, what are you going to do, right? He's talking about restaurants like Delicatus down the street. Streets are closed. We close weekends because of it. Mike Klotz, co-owner, says they've been down 10 to 15 percent in revenue because of the construction and lack of parking. Mud, honey, with chips, you got it. What, what is the city council doing? Like, there's, they should be governing, like, and they're too busy with other stuff. Both Mike and Phil have been in communication with city leaders. Phil passed along some emails that he sent, and Mike says leaders have been down to chat, but not consistently. There should be meetings regularly, but I just don't, there's not coordination, there's not discussion. In the meantime, they're hoping summer business will help them stay afloat while they wait for answers. And this is, this is unconscionable. It's, it's wiping out family businesses, you know, people that, that have worked hard. In Pioneer Square, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News. And while the city did not speak on the impact of the local businesses, a rep for the mayor actually put out a statement, and it said that the city is working with a firm to review costs for the project. Quote, it is expected that the work can be completed in the coming weeks that will outline operating and capital costs, as well as funding risks for both the utility and streetcar work.